Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Bear Views back at you today with another one. And what I am looking at today is from Wildly Brew Co. out of LaGrange, Georgia. This is their Truck Chaser Strawberry Eclair Double IPA. It is 8.1% alcohol by volume. The IBUs are not listed on the can, but I did look it up on the website. And they are 49, 49 IBUs. This beer does contain lactose. Uh, the Truck Chaser is actually a series. Uh, they have this one here, the Strawberry Eclair Double IPA. They have another one, uh, Creamsicle IPA. Uh, and I think they have two more. I think they have four, four or five. Um, this is a very fresh can. It was canned on November 13th of 2019, so less than a month old. I love Wild Leap Brew Co., uh, they make excellent beers. I have not had anything from them that I do not like. They were actually rated the number one new craft beer, uh, craft brewery in the country back in 2016 or 2017. I can't remember when they were founded. So great stuff coming out of Wild Leaf. It was $11.99 for this four pack, which is not the best deal, but if it's as good as I think it's going to be, it will have been well worth it. I used to love strawberry eclairs as a kid. So it'll be interesting to see how the sweet strawberries and the lactose, vanilla, they also add vanilla in here, how that will um, work with the hops. I have a feeling this is going to be just like a really good New England style IPA milkshake IPA a lot of people call them it definitely has that appearance very hazy orange color poured with a nice head about a three and a half finger creamy looking white head trying to get all the beer in the glass here There we go. This double IPA compo combines the flavors of a strawberry eclair with a big juicy IPA to bring you back to the days when you chased the ice cream truck, not the beer truck. And just kidding, a little taste of that head there as it was about to go over the top. Wow. Okay, on the aroma... Definitely getting some sweetness, some strawberry, a little bit of that vanilla is coming through. Definitely picking up on the hops as well. This smells incredible. So great malt character, some nice hop character as well. A little bit of like a breadiness that I'm picking up on. Like a little wheat bread note on the aroma as well. Mm. God, this smells really good. I don't think the camera is doing it justice with the color. It's a very, it's a bright orange. It looks a little dull on the camera, but it's a nice bright orange. And of course, it is very hazy. You can't see through it at all. That head is sticking around pretty nicely as well. Nice creamy looking head there. This smells absolutely incredible. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. Are you kidding me? Wow. The strawberries are coming through. A nice little vanilla and sweetness from the lactose. Um, the breadiness in the middle is definitely, it, you're definitely picking that up. Some nice wheat bread notes. Creamy mouthfeel. 8.1% alcohol is nowhere to be found. Carbonation is relatively low with this one. That creamy mouthfeel is what, what sells this one. So the carbonation is lower because of that creamy mouthfeel. You don't necessarily want a super high carbonation with the creamy mouthfeel. That they would kind of uh, combat each other, I think. But beautiful mouthfeel with that lactose in there. Super creamy. 
dreamy, delicious, very dessert-like. You're getting the strawberry eclair flavor. Uh, definitely, it's like they took a strawberry eclair and just dipped it in here. Um, it is hoppy as well. Some nice hop character with this, but it's not bitter. It's like a New England IPA. You're getting a lot of hop character without a ton of hop bitterness. Oh, excuse me. Carbonation might be a little higher than I think. That creamy mouthfeel masks the carbonation, but I can feel the gases kind of building up in there. I just I just had to burp there, so carbonation might actually be more on the medium side, but that creamy mouthfeel, like I said, really hides it well. The finish is super smooth, very clean, slightly sweet, a little bitter. A little fruity from the strawberries, a little bit of that breadiness from the middle, that wheat breadiness kind of follows through to the finish as well. This is an absolutely delightful beer. This may be the best IPA, New England style, milkshake style, whatever. Just IPA in general, this might be the best IPA that I've ever had. I cannot wait to get my hands on some of the other Truck Chaser beers from Wild Leap. Uh, the Creamsicle one... You know, whatever else they have, the Truck Chaser IPAs, if they're, the other ones, if they're half as good as this one, I'm going to be very, very pleased. Mm. Absolutely incredible, guys. I thought it said that this has vanilla added to it, although it just says on the side this beer contains lactose. Maybe on the website that's where I saw that it had vanilla in it. I don't normally do this, guys, and I've never done it with an IPA before, but I feel like I would be doing this beer an injustice if I didn't give it the score that I'm about to get it give it. This is 100 out of 100. This is the best IPA that I've ever had. It deserves a perfect score. I hope that the other Truck Chaser Series beers from Wild Leap are half as good as this one. I'll be very pleased if they are. Definitely worth the $11.99 for the four-pack. If you can find this beer in your area, Wild Leap Truck Chaser Strawberry Eclair Double IPA Buy it. Try it. Let me know what you guys think. I don't think you're going to be disappointed if you like milkshake IPAs. If you like New England style uh, IPAs where you're not getting as much bitterness. Although there is a good bit of bitterness. 49 IBUs is, you know, significant. But it's just so well balanced. Fruity and sweet and hoppy and malty and bready and creamy, dreamy, delicious, awesome, awesome beer. It's perfect. It's 100 out of 100. It's world class. Um, <laughs> buy it and drink it immediately while you can. Uh, it's a rotating series, you know, so when this one's done, I guess they'll put out another one. Anyway, this is super fresh. Like I said, less than a month old. Absolutely incredible beer, guys. So that'll do it for this beer review. I hope you're all having a great day. 100 out of 100. Man, such a wonderful beer, guys. So until next time, everybody. Cheers.